So a lot of times, listen, because this is very critical. I like that one. What's up, guys? This is Logma with two T's. What happened there? Yesterday, I was pulling the AC filter out, and it has like some metal wires in there. Pulled it out, and I <laughs> sliced it open. I'm fine. It's just a boo boo. So today we're gonna talk about what I've learned in the one year I've been making beats or producing. So a little bit of my background music story. I started making songs I was like as an artist. I used to look for beats online and then, you know, I used to rap on them. But as I got more and more into music, I learned that you have to own the music, you know, to rap in it and to release it, etc. So then I was like, I am paying for that shit. So I started producing and I liked it because I've always liked music in general. So I was just like, yo, that's a plus. I've always wanted to like learn how to produce. For the past year and a half, something like that, I've been producing and it's been a really cool journey because I, I love music. So it's made me have a bigger love for music. I also went to school for recording arts and show production. I don't really flex about that a lot really because it wasn't really my idea to go to school. I went and I actually learned a, a bunch of stuff, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this is what I've learned in the past year. I wrote some notes down. Again, I make sure I follow on track. Why not? So one of the first things I would say is the feeling is the most important part of the whole song. Of the whole song. Really, the feeling, meaning what a song makes you feel. When I'm listening to Kids by Seal, I feel like I'm flying like a bird, you know what I mean? If I if I listen to that one song, this song, by Timbaland with Nelly for Toronto, it's like chugga chugga chow. I would feel like I, I wanna, you know, I'm, I'm in the club, like I feel that feeling, like this the speakers are bouncing and everything. This is on any art. If you watch a movie, you're gonna feel sad. You're gonna feel sad. If you hear a lit, if you, if you listen to a lit song, you're gonna feel lit, you're gonna feel you know that feeling of that feeling is the key of the whole thing like that's this that you know that's the selling point if a song doesn't have a feeling there's nobody's gonna want to listen to that another thing i've learned and this is not really in producing especially this is just in any anything you want to get good at over time with that comes patience you need to have a lot of patience because someone can get good at making beats and producing in a year or six months and three months some people can be getting good at two years three years so people need 10 years before actually making some fire stuff but at the end of the day is do you love it enough to wait those 10 years or that one year and be patient that's the question you have to ask yourself also another thing i've learned about producing and making beats is that you know when you're making a beat and you're, you know, you just started the beat and you drag, let's say, a loop and you're like, oh crap, that loop is fire. That moment, a lot of times I've learned is now going to happen in the beginning or like the first time you listen to a sound that, oh crap, might not be there. It might be getting that sound and combining it with a different sound and making that into a, like a, a loop or something. And that could be that oh moment, like, oh crap. I didn't know that that song, that kick would be nice with that snare or that melody would be nice with that bass. Trust the process of making, 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 and then that oh crap moment is gonna come over time. And that that's also with patience. So really everything has patience. For you to get better, you have to do it more and more and more. We're not gonna make 10,000 beats in one day. That's impossible. So we're gonna make 10,000 beats over time and that over time is up to you. You know what I mean? So like if you say, okay, I'm gonna grind super hard and I'm gonna make 10 beats a day just to perfect my skill, not to sell them, you're sharpening your skill blade. You know what I mean? You're sharpening your blade. And that's, that's how I see it. Every time I make a beat, I'm sharpening my blade. I'm getting better at making a beat. So I guess patience is key with everything really. When, when you do work with artists or send beats to artists that you know there's gonna be vocals, keep in mind to have a lot of room for the artists. It also depends on the artist. A lot of artists want to have like little room for the vocals, but most artists want a lot of room. So they can put uh, stacks, um, ad libs, they can experiment. So it's better if your beats are simple when you're sending them to artists. Whenever you want to do like a EDM track or something like that, something that's supposed to be 
just the instruments and no vocals the less simple the better because there's more stuff going on and everything you have to remember that the artist's voice is another instrument look at it as that so always think about okay so i know that there's always gonna be you know there's gonna be vocals in this song so it's an instrument that i do not know how it's gonna be arranged or everything so be prepared for people being like oh no take this out take that out Another thing is that's also why it's good to make sure to be organized with your files. A, a lot of people do it by month, by year, by name, by project, I don't know. Find a way that you can get organized and you can separate, you know, organize everything. So a lot of times, listen, cause this is very critical. A lot of times I'm making beats and I'm like, damn, this, this is horrible. But, but in my head, I know that I'm still learning. I'm still doing another lap. I'm still, you know, I'm still sharpening my blade. I'm still learning on my craft, you know what I mean? So even though you're not progressing, you're still progressing on the fact that you're, you're learning and that you're, you know, you're practicing, you're putting in the hours, you're, you're doing the lap. You're learning even though you realize you're not learning. Getting to know Getting to know the producers or artists or managers or people that are in the music, you know, field is always good for people in the music industry because you're gonna have you're gonna have connections and you're gonna know people and those people are always gonna be doors for opportunities. If you help them out, they're gonna help you out. You know what I mean? It's always good to have friends so they can help you out. They can give you tips. They can be like, "Yo, I like that beat. You probably should have done that with this part or that part." Be very I guess careful on who you take advice from because they might do it off of jealousy so might do it as, as a of off of real support also another benefit of making friends is that you guys can learn from each other's mistakes meaning like if one person messes up with something they can be like yo look what I messed up on so you don't do it again you know what I mean a big thing on making music is that you are a product of all the generations before you if you take, if you at least study or look up what your your past, you know, like your roots are. If you study, you know, where you come from and what your roots are and where that music goes down, I feel like if you just give it a listen and like, you know, study it, it might you might gain something off of it. And that's I'm saying that as experience because I've done that and I have, you know, gained a lot of it, like with Latin music and like a lot of stuff. I just like. I don't know, I, just, I guess like I revisit a lot of childhood moments and that moment is just special, you know what I mean? Another thing is that I feel like the best producers know what they like with music, so they know what what type of things catches their ear, they know what type of instrument, they know, they know, you know, things like that. So I guess like really listening to a lot of music and being like, I like that, I don't like that, I kind of like that, and things like that. I guess more of a self-awareness in your music interest will help you out making beats because you already know what you like and you already know what you don't like. So when you're making beats, you don't have to be like, huh, do I like that? Is that good? Am I feeling like I don't like it or I like it? Also have a really good communi communication with your gut feeling because that gut feeling is, I guess, the best the best advisor for, your, for yourself. And that's it. I hope I, I helped out. Uh, this video was really just to help you guys out is to share my thoughts and my mistakes and like my my learning steps with you guys to all my producers uh, sup to all my artists sup to all my listeners so that's basically it if you guys have any other advice of what you guys learned of what I said for us probably something wrong probably something right you guys agree you guys disagree let me know in the comments I'll check them out and we can have a little combo. If I helped out at least a little bit, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more videos. I've been uploading a lot. Love you guys so much and peace out. This is Log Man with two T's. I don't know how to end it, but hey, 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 hey.